G'day folks, it's Simon here. How you doing? Um, well, it's a, a freezing, <laughs> freezing cold day in Melbourne. I'm sitting here at uh, Elstonwick Park in, in Brighton. You're probably wondering what I'm doing outside, out and about on a freezing cold day like this. Well, it might just look like an ordinary suburban park, and it kind of is. I mean, there's families here walking their dogs and throwing balls around and all that kind of stuff, but uh, Sadly, about just over 12 years ago, um, one of my musical heroes, and, uh, someone I really looked up to through childhood and adulthood as well, uh, died here in this park, unfortunately. And um, yeah, his name was Paul Hester, and he was the, the drummer from uh, Crowded House, one of my favorite bands of all time, possibly my favorite band. And um, he played with Split Ends for a while too. Um, unfortunately, he um, he suffered a lot with um, with mental health issues. Um, something that I can relate very much to, especially after the you know after he left Crowded House and the band broke up and things like that. And um, unfortunately, one night in early 2005, yeah, he came down to this very park and unfortunately hung himself. Um, very sad. I can remember I was I was working in China at the time, and um, I was had a part-time job in the evening working with uh, oh, this guy was really terrible. Actually, he was one of the the fakest people I ever met. He uh, he would um, he organised teachers to go and work in lots of little places and. He promised me he'd get me a working visa and then, you know, a day before he told me he was going to do it, he told me that he couldn't and I had to race across the border to Hong Kong and he would tell people that he was going to pay them a certain salary and then their paycheck would come in and it would, would be not that and, uh, yeah, and he had hid behind a, a mask of hypocritical Christianity too. Nothing, nothing against Christianity, I'm agnostic, but I mean, you, you don't hide behind it to do terrible things to people. Um, yeah, so I was walking down the road with him having just finished a class and um, I got an SMS from mum saying and Neil and Tim are flying in from England and uh, they're having a concert in memory of Paul and I thought what I knew those names Neil and Tim Finn uh, the, the Finn brothers you know Neil was the lead singer of Crowded House Tim was in it for a while and obviously the lead singer of Split Ends and I thought what's happened here and my heart just sank and then I wrote back to mum and said I don't, what's happened and she said yeah Paul was found dead uh, today and I was yeah I was yeah I'm sadly really upset and this guy said to me what's going on what happened and I told him I said oh you know one of my favorite musicians just passed away and hello Hey, how's it going? That's okay. <laughs> well, that was nice. Nice visit from the dog. <laughs> yeah, so I said, oh, um, one of my favourite musicians just passed away. And what was this bloke's response? He laughed. He just laughed. And I said, what, what the hell are you laughing at? And he said, oh, rock star is probably drunk. And I said, so what if he was? You know, what, what difference does it make? This, yeah, people have some disgraceful attitudes anyway. It, yeah, Hesse suffered a lot from um, depression and mental health issues, and yeah, still to this day, I think about his, you know, his bright on-stage persona and you know the reality behind it, and I can really relate to that um, with what I what I went through over the last couple of years. You know, I, I even got to that point myself, and thank God I wasn't successful. But um, yeah, I just want to say, folks. If anyone you know is going through anything like that, reach out and, and do what you can. Don't turn a blind eye to it. And if you're going through something like that, reach out for help because even when it seems like there aren't people who care about you, there really are. And they might not even be the people you expect. Um, look out, yeah, look out for each other, folks. And um, yeah, you know, if you're one of those people that, you know, bangs on and whinges about trigger warnings and all that kind of stuff, A, just be thankful that you're not the kind of person that needs them, and B, get out of the way and let the rest of us get on with uh, 
and helping everybody else who needs it. Um, yeah, sad one today, folks. Sorry about that, but yeah, it is the location. Anyway, I'm going to go and check out the beach after this. We'll see how it's how it's going over there. It's freezing though. All right, folks. Uh, good to have a chat to you. We'll we'll see you soon. All right, onwards and upwards. Bye for now. Hi folks, Simon here again. How are you doing? Well, I'm here on the pier at St Kilda Esplanade. It's, uh, the sun's gone down, obviously, so that's the view back towards the ocean. Oh, the beach. Oh, jeez. And that's down the little cafe down there. And behind us is Melbourne City. How nice is that? I had a um, nice little bit of food and a coffee down there at... Um, the little cafe down the end, the kiosk, that yeah, was beautiful, and also got to see the fairy penguins. So it's been it's been an interesting day today. You um, got the little bit of me there before um, in the park where, um, unfortunately, one of my childhood heroes faced his end, which was very sad. But um, thinking about that from my own perspective, it's um, it's good to go somewhere like that, I think, and. Um, experience and you think about I've experienced that uh, that almost that same thing myself and um, yeah you never want to see anyone go through that really um, but yeah spent a bit of time dwelling on that and yeah it's been a been a good day for the, for the rest of the day um, it's freezing out here, it really is. It's, uh, wow, it's windy, it's under, well under 10 degrees, and yeah, I think it's gonna be time to, to get on the tram and to head back um, pretty soon. So yeah, it's getting quiet out here. Down the end is where the fairy penguins are. I didn't even know, I didn't even know. I thought they were only in um, Phillip Island, but yeah, I'll put some pictures on Instagram of them. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to hit the highway. Um, yeah, it's been good to catch up with you again. Little addendum to today's video. We shall talk again soon. Okay, bye for now.